Hey guys, so it's now April, and you know what that means? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? 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 If you guessed March favorite, you're right! Yay! Um, so let's just get right started. It's gonna be a random haul again of stuff, because that's who I am. First up, I guess we'll do our beauty stuff, which, um, it's still kind of cold out. April now, but Michigan's being weird. And um, my favorite lip product, that sounds weird, is currently the Nivea Lip Butter in Caramel Cream Kiss. And it's it just smells really good and it's really hydrating and like I've used it a lot and like I have barely made a dent in it. So you get a lot of product with it and I really enjoyed it so try it out if you haven't. The next product that I have is what a lot of people I know have been loving because it's just a really good product. It's the St. Ives Flemish Control Apricot Scrub but I didn't buy the small tub because I was like you know what? I have a coupon for a big tub so I bought the big tub and it smells amazing and if I can open up this container. Ah, smells so good. And I got a ton of scrub for this price. I got it for like three dollars, even though it's normally like six dollars. And so, it smells really good, and I feel like it really works. Like, my skin is loving it. Next up, I got a new conditioner because, yeah, I got a new conditioner. And it's family size because why not? even though I'm the only one that uses it. It's the Suave Naturals Tropical Coconut Conditioner. And again, I've been liking the smelly stuff right now. And um, when I first got it, ah, it's all over me. When I first got it, um, I thought it only smelled like coconut, but then when you start rubbing it into your hair and all that, it's, you get the tropical scent that is supposed to be in it. And it's just really nourishing and I'm very happy with it this product. Thanks to Julie for helping me pick it out. Forget out a beauty favorite. That's weird. Um, I have the Simple Revitalizing Eye Roll-On. It's got a little, like, ball, metal ball attachment, and, um, it's supposed to. It's a perfect blend of cucumber extract and vitamin goodness. Helps reduce puffiness and wake up tired eyes, which it is really good at doing that because the metal ball applicator on the end is really cold when you put it on, so it just wakes you up, and I just, it wakes me up, and I'm just like, wow, I'm ready to take on the day. Okay, I guess we'll go on to food and drink favorites now, and my first favorite, my first favorite um, for food and drink, I guess, is the cup that I've been using, which has been my homemade mug that I made. It says streets on hashtag streets. Um, it's wonderful. Made at make a mug night, so just a nice mug. So what do I drink out of the mug? Um, I would have to say tea. I recently got this tea. Ooh, that's the Asian side. This tea brand called 3.15pm. It's milk tea. It's the original milk tea. And um, my friend Carissa recommended me this because she had it in her favorites video and it's got like these little pouches so you don't have to worry about how much tea you put in and um it's not too sweet but it's like really good like um probably making a lot of noise but it's really good and like just so good. <sighs> I can't even describe it it's just really good and um, I really enjoy drinking it at night even though tea is probably not the best thing to drink unless it's decaffeinated. But it's really good and I think you guys should try it if you haven't. Along with the whole tea thing that I just went on, um, I've been really into tea this month and now we're going with sweet tea from Pear Leaf. It's really good. You can get the big gallon or whatever, but I really like these tiny ones because they're portable and it's delicious. It's not overly sweet like McDonald's sweet tea, but it's just sweet enough, which it's 
good in my books. My first food favorite of the month is Sun Chips, the Garden Salsa variety. They're delicious. The only god dang problem I have with these are the bags. Like, you can't be quiet about them. Um, they're just really good and I just love a good Sun Chip. I mean, I like the original, which most people don't, but these are my favorite and I've been eating them all month. My next food favorite is Rolos. These are the Easter kind. Oh my god, that's really loud. But look. And, um, you just dropped one. And they're just, you know, if you've never had one, it's just chocolate with a caramel center. And they're so good. Like, you gotta try them. And they're just like the perfect little bite size for a sweet tooth. So that's why I love them. And probably one of my favorite candy candies. Anyway, but yeah. So that's the last of my food favorites, and I guess I would start getting into what should I do next. I'm doing my home favorites now. Well, home, it's more like hobbies and random stuff favorites. <laughs> um, my first favorite is going to be awkward. <clears throat> my first favorite is because I'm a college student, I am going to... I really, like, wish I could go back to my childhood and just, you know, play games all day. And so, my current favorite, I guess, video game is Pokemon Black version for the Nintendo DS. And, um, if you guys don't know Pokemon, I don't know where you've been, but I love the originals, but currently I've been playing this because my Game Boys have been dying really fast. So this one's been the one I've been playing all month. Current book that I've loved all month has been Divergent, and the movie came out recently, and I haven't seen it yet, but I'm planning to go see it soon, and I really hope it's as good as the book, but I've heard there have been like changes from the book to the movie, Excuse me, and like Some people have been happy with it. Some people haven't but you know I'm just gonna watch it and see because I'm not really a tough critic. So it's probably gonna be really good anyway, so Read the book if you haven't it's kind of some people have compared it to the Hunger Games. It's like a dystopian novel and um Okay, so my next favorite is the candle, which happens to be right here. Oop. It's Hannah's at Home Apple Cinnamon Delight. It's a natural soy candle. It burns really well, except for I don't know why it's doing this weird thing right here. But, um, it smells just like apple pie, but with extra cinnamon, which I really like. And it's like a huge candle, and these burn for forever. And, like, um... Sometimes I hate and use it turning on the light, so I just burn the candle and then my room smells really good and I have a little light source just to keep it like low lighting, but it's just like cozy and it smells really good and like I don't know, I this is the first candle of this brand, but I'm gonna buy more candles of this brand because it smells really good and you get a lot of it for your money's worth, so why not? So, my next favorite of this past month has been a movie that recently came out, and I've seen it twice in the past week before filming this. It's, um, it well, has been the movie God's Not Dead, and it fe features, it has Shane Harper in it and some other people. Shane Harper's the only one I really know, so that's probably why I said his name. But it's basically about this atheist professor who teaches a philosophy class, and he really doesn't believe in God. But there's a whole story behind that. And so he, the first thing he does for his assignment in his classes has all the students write on a piece of paper, God is dead. But Shane Harper's character does not um, go with that because he's still, he's Christian and believes in God. So it's basically just a back and forth argument kind of thing. And it's really good. If After seeing it, I felt really rejuvenated maybe alive after watching it and it has really good music you know it's a really good film but you know acting could be a little better but what can you do you win some you lose some but yeah it's definitely my favorite movie of the past month surprisingly it's not frozen as some people might think but frozen is up there too so 
Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's the end of my February. No, I was about to say that's the end of my March favorites this past month. Yeah. And it's now April, and it's raining outside, and sorry for the crappy lighting, but if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and hit the subscribe button, and if you aren't, haven't, or if you already are, I'm so awkward, um, if you already are, that's awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Let's do this. <clears throat> um... Okay, so I guess that's the rest of the drink stuff, and my first food favorite is the curry chip I've been loving, and that is... Sister and her friend are talking outside my door. My first favorite... <laughs>